Buckle down or move forward. Welcome to your daily motivation and inspiration with Dan. So are you buckling down? You might be one of the few that are. And, you know, I see it all the time. In fact, I, I see a woman walking her dog. I've seen her many, many mornings walking her dog. And then this morning I see her, except she has her head down and she doesn't even look and say hi. We usually say hi to each other. But today, now, given the circumstances, she's not saying hi. And I equate that with buckling down. I mean, what is, and what is that? I mean, why would we do that? I mean, we're social beings, social creatures. So we want to socialize with people. We want to have interactions with others. And so buckling down like this, I don't think is going to be good for us. In fact, I was reading some, learning about some research the other day that if we do this kind of buckling down and social distancing, after a while, it actually will cause problems in our bodies. Inflammation was one of them. And that's a huge issue. I don't have a problem with it because I have a smoothie that I have. It's, I think it's the the best anti-inflammatory smoothie you could have. And I have that every single day. But these are the kinds of things that can happen. We can cause a lot of issues by buckling down and not socializing. Even communicating over the phone is better than, you know, distancing ourselves from people entirely. So buckling down is one of the options or moving forward. How do we move forward? Well, one of the ways we can move forward is to use our time to do other things other than being on social media or watching the news or, um, you know, or, or just watching any information out there. We can actually work on our lives. We can focus on what it is that we want. And I'm, give, I'm giving you a resource below. You're going to see it there. It's my ebook. It's called Living the Life of Your Dreams. And it's all about designing your lifestyle. Because most people haven't thought about what they want for their lives. They haven't designed their lifestyle. Actually, I work with business owners and most of them had a dream for why they started their business, but then they never created a plan or uh, you know, a, anything at all, a system or any practices so that they could live the life of their dreams. Have a look behind me here. There's a, a heron flying across. <laughs> Distraction. So anyway, to live the life of your dreams, what do you need to do? Well, you, you need to design your life from the end backwards. That's the key. If you don't live your life from the end backwards or start planning it from the end backwards, you're not going to know what to do. So that's what's in my book. I gave, I gave you a little peek inside. But living life your dreams means you think about how you want to end your life and then work it backwards. And if you like my five Fs, faith, family, friends, fitness, and finances, you know, that's my fave fives. That's one way that you can have values and principles to live by and move forward instead of buckling down and not looking at people in the eye. I mean, for crying out loud, why would we ever do that? I mean, you cannot get a disease or a virus by looking at somebody in the eye, at least not that I'm aware of. So fear is obviously taking over and buckling down is becoming the focus for that person. You don't need to do that. All right, so comment below. Let me know what you think. Grab my ebook. Use it. I mean, people give me such amazing feedback when they use this book. And it's not because I'm amazing. It's because the way that I teach you to design your life is going to help you feel better about what you're doing, where you're going, and to have a better life. So comment below. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how you're feeling. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.